Well, as you can see, I love watching Cooking with Tittle, and I'm so glad you love watching, too, because we've got a new email address. That's right. It's Tittle in the middle at live, L-I-V-E dot com. So I do hope you will email your Tittle. I've got some great green things going on for this year and some healthy treats. Bon appetit. Let's eat each and every Thursday at 7 p.m. and Fridays at 2 p.m. right here on Channel 19. And now, back to the show. Hey. in the middle. Want to have some fun? Welcome to the LaDonna Tittle TV radio show. Guess what, vegetarians and vegans out there? It's your show today. <laughs> that is one beautiful kiss. I just want you to know that welcome to another great show. My guest today is Judith Ray Ross. And Judith does many things besides being a retired teacher. Yeah. We love our teachers. Okay, I've been there, Judith. <laughs> <laughs> I've been the there. Teachers like no others. Yeah. <laughs> and not only that, Judith is with a fantastic program. Tell us about your program. Okay. It's called the Eat Apply program. Eat Apply. And Eat Apply is a program that if you go to a restaurant, it's just moving in this area from Minnesota, actually. Mm -hmm. If you go to a restaurant and you eat a meal, they will donate that money to a food pantry. In this case, they are working clo very closely with the Chicago Food Depository. Oh, good, good organization. I mean, they're working with the best. Yeah. And they will donate a meal, and they will donate the meal to your community locally. Oh, okay. I mean, like, Hunger is a problem. Oh, I can remember so many students uh, when I was teaching at a couple of the elementary schools and high schools, students coming to school hungry. And then uh, the after school programs, they would go to the what we call the Nick and Angels for yeah. junk food. So we started bringing in some bananas and oranges and apples, and they actually would eat them up, <laughs> which oh, is a yeah. good thing. Yeah. So it you're was, right. Yeah, one time I had to have. A, uh, I had to have a piece of fruit before I taught because I burned a lot of calories. Okay. And the kids liked the fruit, so I, they, they all signed a sheet, and I would bring, according to the sheet, an extra piece of fruit with me every day. But they had to sign up for, you know, who there that you was. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> We've got to have a little uh, carrot thing going yeah, here so they sick. can get yeah. into the rhythm yeah. of it. Yeah. Hey, you got to eat your vegetables and eat yeah. right and healthy. Well, speaking of vegetables... You are doing a very, very special dish. And I tell you, I say welcome, welcome, welcome to oh, the show. Thank you. It's one dish I've always wanted to learn how to cook, and that was quiche. quiche. And not only that, you're doing special dishes because guess what, vegetarians and vegans out there? It's your show today. today yeah. <laughs> so tell us what you're doing today. Okay. I am making you a three course. Thanksgiving meal, if you Thanksgiving like. Thanksgiving meal. If you like, but it, you don't. It. You don't have to have turkey. I mean, the Pilgrims didn't have turkey between you and me. They didn't. And they didn't have turkey. You, how could they hunt a turkey with those guns that you could only have one shot? Any <laughs> self-respecting turkey would have gone gobble 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 and headed into the woods. Teach us, Judith. Teach us. Teach us. Teach us. So okay. I am making a vegetarian quiche. I am making vegan chili. And for dessert, a family recipe that came down when we wandered somewhere through east of Vienna, Hungary, or what have you, called a sham tort. A sham tort. Okay, a sham, sham tort. Sham means foamy. Sham means foamy. foamy yeah. Okay, foamy and I, I had a little piece of that crust, too. Yeah. It was so good. And speaking of the sham tort, can I just show them? Hey, I'm just going to turn around. That's the bottom of it. And, and this is the up. bottom of it. 
and this is the sham dort. Does that look yummy? Oh, and you're gonna tell us how to make this? Oh yeah, I'm gonna give you. I, I, we we share our, our recipes in my family. We're <laughs> you want to take another crack off of it? You can. It won't oh, hurt. we we sort of had some chips that were laying yeah. on the counter. <laughs> And uh, thanks to my wonderful Zazelle camera person, Zazelle McKenzie. She is a vegetarian and she is loving today's fixings here. So you will too. And uh, now I'm going to show you my other little gift from Judith. What she is doing today. And this is her beautiful quiche. I'm just going to kind of hold it and tilt it down. Ah, quiche. This is quiche, and this is veggie quiche, but veggie. like the original quiche Lorraine, we have faux sausage in it, so you'll never miss the fact. Get out of here. Gonna... And I saw another thing. Uh, we'll talk about it. As yeah. a matter of fact, I know I've got your mouth watering for this quiche right now, so let's get busy in the kitchen because you're cooking with Tittle and my guest, Judith Ray Ross. And Judith, you know what we like to say? <laughs> Bon appetit. Let's eat. Bon appetit. Let's go. <laughs> to food. Food's a lie. It's <laughs> organic and if you don't treat it as such it will make you... So this is uh, immaculate, pie uh, naturally delicious, ready to bake pie crust. pie crust. And if you look at the ingredients... No artificial are, flavors. No artificial flavors, no GMOs, or is that what they feed the chickens? I don't know. Mm -hmm. But um, you just simply put it up on the bowl here. You don't worry about it too much. There's a bowl down here. It's a nice, I cook in glass. Okay. Glass does a little better on baking and cooking, to my knowledge, than, um, than metal. But every, you know, to each his own. Oh, I've heard that too. So glass. I use that. Now, so we got that. We can put that out of the way, if you don't mind, LaDonna. I sure don't mind. Okay. I am your sous chef today, my oh, dear. Oh, good Lord, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Now, okay. um, we are into the slice and dice phase. Okay. One red pepper. And everything I use is organic. This is my pepper knife. We okay. do it like that. We, and you can see this is a nice new pepper. Very little and, you know, you're not getting out all the junk, not getting out all the junk, and then you just slice. I'm going to put all this stuff in a bowl. Okay. Put all this stuff in a bowl here. Um, I know that there are people that believe slicing techniques, you have to be able to do it very fast. Well, you know, the, the rules for my show is that if you know how to slice like they do in culinary school, you're disqualified to be on the show. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I can... there, there's no, uh, there's no set rule here. <laughs> well, that's good. I to say know. slice it enough where. Uh, so you put nice little chunky uh, pieces yeah. in your quiche. Okay. And everybody likes a piece of chunky. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing worse right. than something like that chunky. tastes like it was made for a 300-year-old man. <laughs> By the way, on that score, when you talk about vegetarianism or veganism, uh -huh. there was. And this is true. Okay. A man who lived to about 169 years in the Get 17th out. century. So it's not myth. It was recorded. 169? 100 I think it was 149. He was born in 1483. He died in 1637. He lived through 10 kings and queens of England. Okay. Okay. And this guy, they found his diet. He lived in Shropshire. He was a farmer. Uh -huh. And his diet was a vegetarian diet. A well, I can believe it. I can totally believe it. So, I mean, he was a vegetarian, and no less when he died. And he died because some aristocrat brought him to London, and he wasn't used to the smog and everything else. London was a dirty city, and it was okay. too much for him. But when he died, um, they did a biopsy. Mm -hmm. The man was 
remarkable. And no less than Dr. Harvey, the guy who discovered circulation, did the, the biopsy. Okay. Now, I am going to tackle right now. These are leaks. Okay. All you do, you do funny things with leaks. These are just the edges of leaks. So you just go like this. They're very pretty, they're very green, and they have a great flavor. They're in, they're in the onion family, but they're a little milder than onions. And okay. I, I like them for that reason. Okay. So we take the leeks and we slice them up. And now we have the onion. Easy, easy to do. These are Vidalia onions. Oh, I Yellow love Vidalia. Gold, gold sweet onions. That I doesn't, love Vidalia onions. I wouldn't almost. sniff them right now, but <laughs> they're, they're sweet. Now, I'd like to tackle the elephant in the room for a moment. Okay. You say vegetarian or vegan, and the meat eaters in this world go running for the aisles. Oh my God, it's tofu. It's, you're going to <laughs> offer me three grains of rice and a lentil and a prayer. No. A lentil and a prayer. I'm not going to offer you a lentil oh, and I, a prayer. I have, I have one guy uh, at uh, Can TV in uh, cable casting. I shouldn't call him out, but I mentioned tofu, and he went like, that's cardboard. That's cardboard. Don't mention tofu. Look, there is a national pizza. But you're right. He would run to the back of the hall. Yeah, I mean, there are people who just absolutely run, and it's ridiculous. It's not, there's no need. There's absolutely no need. You can, when I became, well, actually, I was diagnosed with diabetes in type 1 in oh. 1979. Wow. And I decided, I mean, everybody was full of, you can't eat this, you can't eat that, you're going to have to measure everything. And, and for a while there, I was terrified. Mm -hmm. Then I realized there's a way around this. Not okay. cheating, um, but that you can, you can find ways of making the things that you used to like without the things that you don't have to have. Okay. And I so see. I got into the habit. And that's... When I went vegetarian, I want to make things that will taste just as good to my friend, friendly meat eaters as everything else, but are not, and I repeat, not, um, not bad for you and don't have meat. Okay. And you right. know, we all have a cholesterol problem. Those of you who eat meat, take notice. I don't. Okay. Okay, now we're going to cut up some tomatoes. I love the way you cut your tomatoes. <laughs> well, I think every her, kitchen her friendly scissors. needs a scissors. This is just the plain old-fashioned Fisker scissors. You can mm -hmm. get them at the drugstore. I think that's where I got this one. I love it. Yeah, it's just sort of fun. I tell you, 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 are, my, you are my cook. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. So, so now this this uh, this uh, particular um, quiche pie, yeah. it would feed about how many? And, and it looks like a nice pizza. So would you say that was like a medium size? I'd say pan a medium pizza. pizza. Um, it's a medium pizza. You can make it a little more, make it in a larger mm -hmm. thing than I made it. It just uh, we have this. I'm going to throw in a few more olives, and that's where that leak went. Uh, oh. <laughs> a few more pieces of the celery. There okay. we are. Yeah, there celery, you, you just lob off the top and the bottom, which I already did, <laughs> and just slice away. Just you don't lob want it off. Things, you don't want things that small. Too bad. <laughs> they know I'm cooking. Well, you know, the last quiche that I had, everything was cut in tiny little dices, tiny little bits, mm -hmm. but you are my kind of chef. No, I... Because I, I, I just don't have time for that little miniscule stuff. <laughs> now, these are Kalamata olives. Kalamata, oh, okay. by the way, means something like very beautiful and very good in ancient Attic Greek. Okay. And what we're going to do here is get a few more of these out. Come on, you guys. <laughs> and again, you're going to love it. We're going to of course, uh, whenever I see that olive juice, I think of dirty martinis. But uh, that, that, that's the green olives, Those folks. Are the green olives. <laughs> These are Kalamata olives. Kalamata olives. They're oh Greek my. olives. Greek olives. They were around about the time that I think Ulysses sailed and, you know, they went to war in Troy. They've been around for a long time. Can I taste one? Thank you. Ooh, I'm Ooh. sorry. <laughs> I was That's trying what I to get for tasting. Go ahead, taste. This is a Tofurky Italian sausage. Tofurky. It is vegan. It is vegan, and it tastes like an Italian sausage with sun-dried tomatoes and basil. Tofurky. Tofurky, and I need the scissors back. Okay. This is what we do with this. <laughs> with the tofurky. With the tofurky. I've already sprayed. My frying pan. I had a taste of thin piece of it. Just a little. <laughs> this tofurkey. Yeah. A first for me. First for you. Mmm. Well, I hope there'll be a lot of nice first today. 
Mm. No. So it's already done. Yeah, it's already done, but you, you do want it a little warm. Uh, okay. Da, 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 da. <laughs> to brown this or saute it if you want to be more formal until all the colors are real, real vibrant. So we have to cook it and reduce it. We have to, we have to get them so they're red, so maybe the onions are a little bit uh, browned. So everything is just a little more whatever. And if we've made too much, what we don't use for this, we'll use in the chili. So now tell me, generally quiche is made with eggs and dairy. So you, are you a vegetarian that doesn't use eggs and dairy? I do on occasion. Today we're doing a veggie, just because I couldn't get the things. But what you would do is instead, and I don't use regular whole milk, you use soy milk. It works just as well. You use egg replacer, and it works just as well. Oh, and okay. I have it on the recipe I gave you. I have it both ways. Great. And there are such things as vegan cheeses. Um, and I like uh, almond breeze uh, too. Yeah. Yeah, I love almond breeze. I would never drink another whole milk. And then I was never a milk person anyway. Most of us aren't. Milk is for cows. Um, you need the calcium, but there are other ways of getting it. You know, calcium shows up in potatoes. So calcium. all of this goes into our, that's true, all of this goes into our quiche. This is all going into our quiche, or as much as we can get into our quiche, and what doesn't go into our quiche will go into our chili. Oh, that, now there yeah. you go. That's, we that's, don't waste anything. That's there. right. Now that's what you call multitasking yeah. your veggies. Yeah, the veggies work hard. But we will multitask the veggies. Let's see. We'll lose some here. Oh, don't worry. But, uh, Julia Childs was my favorite person. <laughs> <laughs> Julia Child understood something. There's a I joy in her. cooking and splashing around. She is always splashing around with her wine, of course. Well, yeah. well, speaking of a beverage to drink, I brought my, I thought we'd have a spring water. Mm-hmm. And we're going to slice some lemons and limes and cucumbers in it. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Yeah, you'll love that. I know I will. Sounds good already. All right, you know, this is just about another second here, and we're just about ready. And then, as we've done step one, step two, and step three are rather easy, actually. Yeah, that was the slicing and the dicing. <laughs> That's, well, you have a little more slicing and dicing. But the ninja over there does the work, does uh -oh. the heavy work, the you ninja. Mean, you got a ninja in the kitchen? I have a ninja in the kitchen. The ninja's right behind you. Very okay. friendly ninja. Okay. Very, very friendly ninja. I put as much of it into the crust as the crust will take. But don't worry, I don't waste food. Um, what we'll do is that which the crust doesn't take will go in the chili. Oh, okay. So now... Well, all of this is going to eventually cook down, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm not worried about that. So this we'll just put aside for a moment. <laughs> Look here. Uh, okay. I, I'll take the pot. You take Put it. aside. Yeah, I could eat this whole pan. And you won't have any chili. That's right. Now have we have another chili. cut, a very fast cut and slice here. Okay. This is organic Swiss cheese. You can do it with vegan Swiss cheese. There wasn't any vegan in the store yesterday. Okay. But uh, Dayo is uh, D-A-I-Y-A, -I, I think, is a very fine vegetarian, vegan cheese. Okay, so and let's see here. The ninja. Cheese goes in the ninja. Notice we just put it on. Mm -hmm. Organic done. cheese. Organic huh? cheese, yeah. Tastes mm -hmm. good out there. Mm -hmm. It does. And we take we're in. Now, you see the turbo? Hold your breath. Here we go. Wow. Okay, that looks done. Give me a ninja. Yeah. <laughs> ah, love you can it. find them. They're wonderful. All right. There's a reason that everybody loves. And I want to see, I need at least two cups. Okay, we have that. <laughs> Tittle's holding my heavy organic whipping cream. I am trying to tell her not to drink it. Oh, yes, you're right. Okay, I won't do this. Because we must do this for... We, we must do this for the 
people. Now I'd like you to pour the cream into oh, the ninja. I get to help? Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, you get to help. Oh, my God. Just You're standing here, you get to help. Just slosh it in. Okay. And hey. now we take, there is egg replacer which if you're okay. a vegan, you can use and works perfectly well. I've even made hollandaise sauce with egg replacer. Is that right? Yeah. Oh my God, you are just really, really, really showing now us Now all we stuff. do is pour this in. There we go. And now. Uh, all right. I, 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 are you okay? I, I'm We're, having fun you with having this ninja. Fun, <laughs> you having fun with the ninja? Okay. Well, we'll get one more chance because now if you, I'm going to put some spices in here. Oh, okay. What do you need? Um, first of all, we're going to put in a little bit of salt. Salt is a flavoring. Everything, even the sham tort, has a little bit of salt in it. Not much. You don't want to taste the salt, but salt flavors. Okay. Now we're putting in a little bit of pepper. Okay. These, by the way, were purchased at the grocery store. <laughs> I don't belong to the class that can do it. You, you didn't grow anymore. your own pepper. <laughs> no, I didn't grow my own pepper. This is cinnamon. I don't know why, but it cinnamon. gives a little bit of a peek and a kick. I One, bet. two, three. And cinnamon is very anti-inflammatory. It's, it's good for people who do have a little diabetes. Uh, cinnamon peels, I hear people take a lot of too. Now, this is proves that part of my family came from the area around the Carpathian Mountains. Okay. This is garlic. Oh, garlic. I can't what? tell you enough about garlic. No, good. <laughs> you have a good thing on it. Now, let's see. We need a few other things here. Okay. Okay. This is your This is thyme. thyme. And that's Coleman's English mustard. I had a student that was a chef and told me that it works wonders. You can even make a sauce out of it if you like. Really? Yeah. Okay. You mix it with pepper right on, it makes a sauce. Oh, okay. And this is Coleman's English, Coleman's English mustard. Okay. And we put some of that on, and then we get to the point that Donna likes so much. I wouldn't dream of depriving you of this joy. <laughs> we are now going to... Try to put this top back on. <laughs> try to put the top back on again. Okay, okay. let's see if I'm successful or not. Okay, good, good. Go, go. I'm going to get used to this. Ninja here. Okay, I have that for you. Now we'll do one for Peter. Uh, Paul. Paul. Mary. Mary. <laughs> you knew where I was coming from. Yeah, we from. can't give, uh, forget Kamisha. <laughs> you got it. And for that matter, we can't forget my oldest friend, Joni. Oh, there you go. Oh, I had an Aunt Joni, yeah. She's up there in heaven watching over us. Well. Am I in Margarita? <laughs> well, so many nice. folks. Now, we, this is the easy part. Notice how nice and thick. We just pour it right over all oh, it is. Oh, wow. And now. We got a pizza pie. Uh, a quiche pie. Quiche pie. A quiche pie. A quiche you know, pie. And we take this and we pour that on top. Oh, that looks so good. Now, I have to turn the oven on. It won't take it long. How long does it take? You know, it depends. And that's something I want to talk about. One of the chapters of the cookbook I'm writing. Okay. I uh, mentioned this. That isn't each a co stove... Writing a cookbook is a labor of love, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Especially when you'll find that there are dishes you like writing about, and there are dishes you don't have a choice. You know, you've got to have your obligatory thing. Now, hand me the paprika, please. Okay. Pap oh, and Hungarian yeah, paprika. paprika. I love Good. that. Came from, part of me came from Hungary. Hungary, so, really? Yeah, Hungary yeah. descent there. Hungarian descent, actually. Okay. All right, now we just put that on top. Hey, that looks Look pretty. Look at that. Now I mean, you are I'm generous gonna, with that I'm gonna have to step back too. and put it in the oven. Well, that's what we do. Okay. okay. All right, so we got the quiche in. Yeah. It's at 375, and it's gonna cook for about... I'd say about 30 minutes. Maybe 30 we can minutes. hurry it up a little bit. I can turn it to three. Well, degrees. you know what we do. The magic of television. In the oven and out, out the, of the oven. oven. All right. All right. Let's taste that quiche. Let's taste that <laughs> quiche. Because that quiche is looking great. All Let's right. Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three. My sisters here. Yeah. Oh, my God. You would think that it was sausage in there, but it's tofurkey. You would think 
This is wonderful. I do like it. Vegetarians arise. Tittle has reformed. <laughs> mm. I became a vegetarian by process. Really? Yeah. We tried it in the 70s and we didn't know what we were doing. Mm. And it didn't work very well. <laughs> and when I became pregnant, my gynecologist thundered at me No, no, you don't. You don't do this. Mm -hmm. So I had my son, and slowly but surely, I found that I was eating the cheese meal out. Mm. I was eating the meatless whatever if we mm. were going Chinese. And this was a long period of time. In 2001, I was in Washington and on a, a, a lobbying trip, actually. Mm -hmm. And my roommate said to me, Ross, are you a veggie? You're not eating any meat. And I realized the only thing that was holding me back from vegetarianism was anchovies. Hmm. So I came home from the I trip, said I was going to try to be a vegetarian. And I knew I was when I was at a book club and there was salmon on the table. And I went, I, I, before I could say anything, I heard me saying, I'm sorry, I don't eat salmon. I'm a vegetarian. I'll eat around you. Mm. <laughs> Man, it tastes like real butter is in here. Mm -mm. Real eggs is in here? No. Egg. Real cheese is in here? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. It's all organic. And it is so good. I'm glad you like it. Judith, thank you for this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I gave you the recipe. Yes, and we're sharing it with you. Mm -hmm. Bon appetit. Let's see. Mm -hmm. You're cooking with Tittle and my friend Judith. <laughs> so good. With a quiche in the middle. I'm so glad we got a big pie. So I don't have to eat your half of the plate. No, <laughs> you don't have to eat my half of the plate. There's plenty to go around. All right. Well, I want to introduce you to that nice water I told I you I had for you. I love that water. With the cucumbers, the lemons, and the limes. Oh, this sounds wonderful. And I tell you, this just rejuvenates you. That's mm. why I call it my oxygenated water. Well, I'm looking forward to it. So good. Mm. I'm looking forward to it. Mm. I mean, we did the whole plate right here, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Real time, y'all. Mm -hmm. Now, Judith, yeah. I'm going to get a little fancy with this. I, I, I broke the bank on this. Yeah. I got some LaCroix coconut water as oh, well. Oh, I am. I'm impressed. I am too. <laughs> I am totally impressed. Some Zinco coconut and any kind of coconut water you want to get. But this adds a little bit of fizz. And you know what you feel like you have? Champagne, girl. <laughs> Champagne, ah. So now, here we go. Yeah, okay. And I just, I, I, I can't help myself. I always make it full. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, cheers. Cheers. Bon appetit. Let's drink. Say, si bon. Isn't that yummy? This is great. And that tastes good. The flavor is so good. I can't believe I made this. This is wonderful. You I know, like that fizz, too. It is. It is very good. You know, lemonade, or limonade, <laughs> is the favorite soft limonade. drink in France prior to the French Revolution. Is that right? And Louis XV met Madame du Barry because she was a lemonade seller. Get out! And he took a, he took a shine to her. Talk about absolutism, he wanted her, but she couldn't be single. So he married his brother, who at the time was single, the Duke de Berry to her. Uh -huh. I don't think he ever came near her, but <laughs> at that point she was at least married. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations, veggies, you've become chili con vegan. All right. And 